ladies and gentlemen, uh, Paul Schaefer asking the musical question, life is a highway, I want to drive it all night long. Uh, <laughs> All night long? When, when did you learn how to play that harmonica? I learned how to play it when you started liking this song. Right. <laughs> nice going. Uh, on the show here this evening, Michael Jeter. We have uh, young kids from a high school, grade school, telling uh, jokes. And the, uh, the Archangels. Uh, did you, you know, I, whenever we have actors and actresses on the program, we always talk about uh, jobs that they may have had while they were acting, while they were getting their start in, in films or mm -hmm. uh, theater or whatever. Uh, tell me what you might have done with your life if you had not had an interest in acting whatsoever. Say you were not an actor right now, where do you think you would be doing? What would that be like for you? Well, I banged around New York for a long time. And I did go through a period where things were going terribly, terribly, terribly badly. And so I decided to drop out of the business for a while and I taught myself to type and I became a legal secretary right over here at 45 Rock at a, a law firm called Rabul McMurray Hewitt Mater and Crystal. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And I was about 35 years old, and one day I was shaving, I was looking at myself in the mirror, and, you know, I was 35, and I thought, what can I do that doesn't require my incurring a huge education debt, and it's not going to take 12 years to do, uh -huh. you know, like neurosurgery. So I started doing a little research, and I also wanted something that would be kind of connected to show business. You know, that would involve makeup and lights and <laughs> stuff. <laughs> And so one day I was just sitting there, Dave, and I thought, well, for $5,500 and 16 months of school, I can become an embalmer. <laughs> and so I got this whole plan. There's a school here on 56th Street called the McAllister Institute. I was going to go to the McAllister Institute. I was going to get my embalming license. And this was about the time that uh, uh, Columbus Avenue was really taking off. Oh, I thought you, you were going to say this is about the time when people were really dying. <laughs> <laughs> so no. you were right but, in that bull well, market. Columbus, Columbus <laughs> Avenue was really happening on the Upper West Side, and so I thought, I could open up a place on Columbus Avenue <laughs> and call it to die. <laughs> with a lot of neon and, and make a deal with Disney, you know, and get audio animatronics oh, into no. the whole thing. No. So you could, like, have your relatives sitting there, you know. <laughs> These are all excellent ideas. But, but then I got a television series I and I had to give yeah, it all yeah, up. The Lord works in mysterious, mysterious. ways. <laughs> but he, he's usually right. Uh, <laughs> let's see, have we taken care of everything here, Michael? I oh, and your big evening shade comes back for how many seasons you've been on the uh, air? We just got picked up for two more seasons. Congratulations. Good for you. Steady gig. Michael, a pleasure to have you on the program. Thanks to me. Michael Jeter, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back.